All right, what is good, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. So we have some Sparking Zero news for you guys. So make sure you guys like on this video, subscribe if you are new, because Sparking Zero is coming out in 2024. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't believe that it's going to come out in 2025. I'm sorry, we're getting all this information right now. And I was wrong about my release date. I was terribly, terribly wrong. But we're going to continue, all right? We're going to continue, all right? But so we got some new information about Sparking Zero. This came out a few days ago, like I said, in my other Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video. I'm I'm holding off my Dragon Ball content and pushing it out as I see fit. I'm not trying to jump on the bandwagon and just keep hopping on. Oh, uh, news, 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 news. That's all. That's all y'all knew. That's, that's all y'all do. That's all y'all do. So now that we here and we can actually assess and like actually see everything in front of us, we have some highlights. So QE was mentioned. I don't. I don't care why he was mentioned. I don't know why that's news. I don't know why people care about him. But, hey, he's mentioned. And so we have skill and energy rates. So what this for skill and energy rates for this on on first glance to me gives me the feeling that we're going to be having like this game is going to be tailored to every character's, I guess, power scale in a way. So like there's going to be like skill ratings versus energy ratings or something like that i don't know but when we get into the actual magazine and stuff like that it tells us you know stuff like uh we have flashy new tra transformations immersive special spe special moves um stuff like that when i say immersive special moves when i think that i'm thinking like okay so every every skill or every like uh energy or power that these characters have is unique and so I guess they're going to have like a rating system, not rates as in rating system, but like rating as in like, you know, like a measurement of how, how much this specific character can use or what skill type. I don't know. Like, again, we don't know. I don't know. And again, these are just translations. So they could be a little bit, a little bit off. But um, so, yeah, as we, again, as you can see here, these are as I think as close as I can get to when it comes to the screenshot. But that's what that gives you, again, off first glance. And so we have Vegeta specializes in long range blast. This follows up what I think my theory for that was earlier is when Vegeta, again, specializes in uh, long range attack. I think each character is going to have their own abilities like I think it's going to literally be not not going to be like, oh, you have one person has this preset and they have the same basic attacks or another one. No, I think each person is going to have their own set of skills, combos, attacks. One might be a long range, one might be key blast, one might be melee, stuff like that. I think that they're really going to tap into like the different. I really think they're going to really, really emphasize the different characters and how diverse these characters really are in the world of Dragon Ball because some of these games throw them in there, but they give them generic things. I think they're going to try to at least, even with the main characters, diversify each character set. Each character plays different, meaning you can't play Goku the same way you play as Vegeta. You can't play Krillin the same way you play Gohan. It can't go the same way for, for you know what I'm saying, even for like Beast Gohan. Beast Gohan may have a different skill set altogether than regular adult Gohan, stuff like that. Adjust your strategy based on transformations. So again, emphasizing what I'm trying to talk about in this, basically this whole entire thing is what I think they're trying to emphasize is that each character is going to have their own different way of even transformations. Um, so addressing your strategy based on transformations gives me the ability that we can literally transform into Super Saiyan or transform into Super Saiyan Blue. And that transformation is going to have a different move set than your base move set so for example mid goku is gonna have a different transform different kick than super saiyan goku or something like that you know what i'm saying like i feel like they're gonna try to make the transformations based on like if you transform into this they're gonna have a whole new move set they're gonna that you're gonna have to learn so it's going to build a skill gap because you're not gonna just be able to oh transform and then blast key blast and blast a whole bunch of stuff and oh i'm superman super saiyan or i'm super saiyan blue so i can just do anything no that specific transformation is going to have a specific set of rules that you have to follow in order to execute its best abilities. And I think that's going to be great. I think that's going to be great for comp. And they said that this, they want this to be comp. So I think that's going to be perfect for comp, not just allowing the transformation to power you up and oh, oh, boom, boom, boom. They're allowing the transformation to actually have skill set to it, if that makes sense. 
Goku is great at melee and rushdown. So this is basically just giving like this general consensus of, again, what this game is going to be. It's going to be very vast when it comes to diversity. They're going to have these characters like individuals. It's not going to be, oh, Saiyans do the same thing. And Majins do the same thing. And Androids do the same thing. Each character is going to have their own moveset, their own abilities, their own skills, their own combos, things like that. That's what it's looking like for me. Cause like, or it may be, it may be grouping. So like they, they're emphasizing like melee and rushdown. So Goku may not be the only melee and rushdown type character. Vegeta may not be the only key blast type character. Androids may not be the only characters to like, not, you know, stuff like that. Like whatever the skill is, there's going to be a grouping of characters. So you'd be like, oh, I mean this person. And you'd be like, oh yeah, well that, that's like more of a rushdown character or stuff, stuff like that. They're trying to diversify their roster a bit and make it like an actual fighting game. I, I can really see this being on the height of Tekken, Mortal Kombat. Not saying that Dragon Ball games aren't there, but like when it comes to anime and arena fighters, you know they, they can they can do better so i'm hoping that this really breaks the scales and really shows people that anime games can be just as comp we got fighters that was a start like that was a, and they said that they use inspiration from fighters to do this game so that's a great start i feel like they took that inspiration and they just made the world a little bit bigger arena fighters are easier to make so i think they went that route and so with that being said i think that this has great potential to be comp like real big i'm talking not comp as in oh just in the evo and comp scene. i'm talking about when you talk about fighting games you talk about street fighter 6 mortal kombat you talk about tekken and then you could talk about dragon ball sparky zero now I'm not saying that it's not already in the talks because you already have historical like dragon ball budokai i mean it's already historically numbered one of the like highest rosters in in history so like not saying that it's not there but we're bringing it back it's a re it's not a reboot but you know what i'm saying like y'all get what i'm trying to say it's it, they're trying to continue the ball keep it rolling while still innovating the pathway to broaden up this scene a bit so it's not just anime and dragon ball but it's anime and fighting games that makes sense so i hope you guys enjoyed my little talk about dragon ball spike when people do these things they don't sit on the information so they go through it and make quick little videos and oh yeah this is this and this is that this is this, this is what this means okay boom boom have a look on the video bye like no you sit with it Kind of see what people are thinking. Go through the comments a little bit. So people's thoughts or whatever. Look through the scans yourself. I took a little bit of time on it. I was like, okay, let me, let me see what they're talking about. Then the translations came out. And I was able to really see. Okay, yeah, my, my thoughts were kind of confirmed. So, again, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. We're going to get some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. Peace.